This week's video is about a trip that Rod and I took to our supplier Sealjet, uh, just north of Brisbane. Sealjet was established in Brisbane in uh, October of 1995, and it was the first business in Queensland to manufacture custom seals for local customers. This is Rod looking at a rack upon rack of polyurethane material used to actually machine custom seals. A lot of seals are actually manufactured from polyurethane. Polyurethane is uh, ideal for a few liquids, for example, mineral oil, methyl, ethyl, ketone, ozone, and even paraffin. It's also quite good for glycols, salt water and water, including water glycol and water oil emulsions. This is a picture of Johan, our sales rep, and Rod. In the background, you can actually see a polyurethane seal, and it's approximately got an 800 millimeter diameter. So that's the capabilities that seals yet can actually manufacture for us and other customers. This is another aisle of um, POM, also known as acetyl or delrin. This product's actually not used to make seals, but it's actually used to make bearings, uh, wear bands, and uh, hard wearing support components. Good product, again, suitable for oil, methyl alcohol, methyl ketone, mineral oil, paraffin, also petroleum oil, salt water, soap solutions, steam, vegetable oils, water glycol and water emulsions. Also good gasoline and glycerine as well as some glycols. So it's quite a versatile product. Another rack with seal raw materials. This one PTFE or Teflon or this chemical name polytetrafluoroethylene. This is a very versatile material. Quite flexible, good for just about anything. Ammonia, ammonia gas, benzene, brake fluid, kerosene, trolleum again, steam, toluene is also good for high temperatures as well. This is another product called PEEK, P-E-E-K, or polyether ether ketone. This is a really quite an expensive high performance polymer. It's good for bearings and pistons. It's also good as a biomaterial such as for medical implants. Another very versatile seal raw material, again available in lots of different diameters and sizes, is Viton, also known as FKM. That's a fluorocarbon, again quite versatile, almost as versatile as Teflon, with the exception of some ammonias and ammonia gases. Uh, not so good for brake clean or kerosene, and also not that good at steam, but just about good for everything else. It also has a very high temperature resistance and a little more flexible than Teflon. Another quite versatile product, also quite temperature resistant, is EPDM or ethylene propylene. This is quite good for ammonia and ammonia gases and cold temperatures. Very resilient to brake fluid, gasoline and glycerine, including kerosene, ozone. Again, good for salt water, soap solutions and sodium hydroxide, water glycol, water and even hot water emulsions. This shows another rack of various materials, including some large larger sizes of Delrin and or EDPM. This is Rod next to one of the CNC machining centers. As you can see, it's actually got some material mounted on the faceplate, ready to be machined. This is the actual rotating tool post with all these different tools on there. Some are a little specialist. They use very high speeds. So one of the questions I ask is, you know, how do you actually hold this material so that it doesn't buckle or flex like a normal piece of steel would, you know, because you're machining flexible products. This is the equipment they use, just a normal tech screw or wood screw. And here it is actually on the face plate, spaced out. You've got the face plate, you've got a hole through the face plate, and then you've got the wood screw actually screwing into the actual material itself. Obviously, they use multiple screws to keep everything concentric. It's as simple as that. So a very large red O-ring we saw before from PU. Here's some very, very small backing rings. They can machine from the smallest diameter. We've actually had seals made, machined by a seal jet, you know, down to a 5.5 millimeter inside diameter. So plenty of capabilities there. This is some of the tooling that they use. Some of the tooling they use is actually it's, it's actually designed for aluminium, but they actually use it at elevated speeds for the different synthetic materials. Here it is mounted in one of the tool holders on the rotating tool post. Also distributes a series of 
seal removal and assembly tools. This is a real special set of verniers designed specifically for measuring hydraulic parts and seals. You can measure down inside gland nuts. You can measure the inside, uh, the depth of the groove of a gland nut, also the height of the groove in the gland nut. This is specifically the end that actually measures the height of the groove or how wide the groove is in the internal machine grooves are. Quite a versatile piece of measuring equipment. Also available are combination kits of O-ring picks. Um, it's also got some seal installation tools. And uh, I think it's, there's also a, that's an O-ring cutter kit as well. This is the other half of the O-ring and seal installation kit. Quite a lot of special bits and pieces in this kit.